are all Muslim rulers who replace the whole or part of Sharia knowing that they are sinners, kuffar? Are all Muslim rulers who uh, rule by uh, any law other than the law of Allah Jalla wa ala, uh, kuffar? Uh, many people do ask this question and I say to them, okay, if they are kuffar, what will happen? What will happen? Taib, then what will happen? Then they will say it's allowed to make khuruj against the leader. Okay, yeah, go and make khuruj. You are living here in Norway. Yeah. You, you have your punished. queen. Huh? You will get punished in the akhirah. You will get punished in the akhirah. He will get punished, yeah, okay. <laughs> May Allah have mercy on him, he will be punished, miskeen. Yeah, I'm not talking about the akhirah, but here. Yeah. Even if we say that they are kuffar, what will happen? Nothing. Yeah? If we say that they are not kuffar, what will happen? Nothing. So we just like to fight for nothing. We just like to waste our time for nothing. Yeah? So I always ask the brothers and sisters just to ask fruitful questions. Yeah? Not to ask uh, meaningless questions or questions that have no fruit. This is one thing. The other thing is, okay, imagine I said that they are kuffar. Yeah? You said that uh, you will go and make khuruj against them. Muslims have to make khuruj against them. First of all, we say if they are kuffar, it doesn't mean that you have to make khuruj against them. Sah? Is that true or not? If the ruler is kafir, you are not obliged to make khuruj against him. Because, for example, here we are living in a kafir system. Sah or not? There is no doubt about that this is a kafir system. Do we go and make khuruj against the system? No, <laughs> because simply we can't. Yes? We can't. So, this is one thing. If we say that those rulers are kuffar, it doesn't mean that we must go and do khuruj against them. This is one thing. The other thing is, who is going to make khuruj against them? Imagine, Mathalan, uh, X country, X Arab country. And they ask me, and I said, yeah, the president is kafir. Yeah, I am here. What about the people there? The people there, they are going to make khuruj against him. You are here. You are not going to make khuruj against him. Is that true or not? So what's the point of this question? Is pointless. Agree or not? Okay. Moreover, moreover, if I say, imagine that we are living in one, in, in, in a Muslim country, and the ruler, he is ruling by a law other than the law of Allah Jalla wa by man-made law, yes? And I am a scholar, my name is A, and I said, yes, he is kafir. Okay? And then there is a scholar, his name is B. And they went to him and he said, no, he's not kafir. What will happen? What will happen? I'm asking you. The two groups will fight each other. Yeah, the two groups will fight each other. And the ruler will say, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead, finish yourselves. I will get rid of both of you. Yeah? Is that true or not? He will support both of them in order to kill each other. So he will get rid of them. This is a big problem. The, the, some brothers in Somalia, they asked me when uh, Sharif, Sheikh Sharif Muhammad was the president of Somalia. Yes, you know Sheikh Sharif Muhammad? No. Huh? No. Yeah, Somalis know. They said to me, what do you think of him? 
I said, what do you think of him? <laughs> what do you mean by what do you think of him? They said, no, is he kafir or not? <laughs> I said, is it that easy just to say, is he kafir or not? طيب, if I say that he is kafir, huh? what will happen? Yeah, we need to get rid of him. I said, okay, but there are many other scholars who do not say that he is kafir. Yes? They don't say that he is kafir. So why are you following me, not following them? He said, we need to follow the Dalil. This is the typical Salafi answer. Yeah? I said, yeah, everyone has a Dalil. And it is not a matter of black and white. Anyone, everyone has his own interpretation. So, moreover, if you feel strongly that he is Kafir, why are you, listen to this brothers and sisters, why are you enforcing your own conclusion on me? I do not believe that he is Kafir. You believe that he is Kafir? It is up to you. Did you get this point? Did you get this point, brothers and sisters? This is a very important point. For example, yeah, if someone believes that this clothes is made of silk, you know silk? Yeah. Harir. And silk is haram for men, as the Prophet Sallallahu said. Yeah? And I believe that it is not the natural silk. The, the haram silk is the natural silk, not the manufactured silk. So he took my clothes and ripped them off. Is it allowed for him to do this? He will say, it's haram. You are wearing, wearing haram clothes. Is, is it allowed to do this? I'm asking you, is it allowed to do this? Why? Because it's forcing his opinion. Yeah, I, I believe that it is halal. I believe that it is halal. <coughs> so you can't force your opinion upon me. Yes? You can't. So you want to believe that everyone in the world is kuffar? Okay, it's your decision. No, no, we have to fight them. If you fight them, you will cause problems for me. Yes? So why? Why do you cause problems for me? Because they are kuffar. Kuffar in your opinion, not in my opinion. So why do you force your own conclusion upon me? This is a big problem many Shabab don't understand. That's why, ya brothers and sisters, please encourage everyone to study, to learn. And the minute, I'm warning you, the minute you see young people rushing into fatwas or opinions, yeah? on these major issues, the minute you should admit and recognize that this person is a big jahil. Yes? A big jahil. Ibn Abi Mulaika said, I met more than 30 of the companions of the Prophet Sallallahu They were avoiding the fatwa because of its dangerous because of, it is da of its danger. And Allah Jalla wa Ala says, وَلَا تَقُولُوا لِمَا تَصِفُوا أَلْسِنَتُكُمُ الْكَذِبَ هَذَا حَلَالٌ وَهَذَا حَرَامٌ لِتَفْتَرُوا عَلَى اللَّهِ الْكَذِبِ Yes, don't say by yourselves this is halal and this is haram. Now some people say we are not saying it out of our desires, we are saying it out of ilm. Uh, we are following a scholar. We say that these big matters, you cannot refer to the scholar whom you like and take it from him because these are big issues. Yeah? Why are you taking from those scholars, not from the other scholars? It means that you are following your desire. 
You are not following the truth. You are not following the haqq. Clear? So, the minute you see, and that's why uh, when the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that there will be years, sanawatun khadda'at. And he mentioned about those years or those times that will uh, deceive people. People will be deceived in these times. يَتَكَلَّمُ الْحَقِيرُ فِي أَمْرِ الْعَامَةِ The person who is small, small in terms of his authority and small in terms of his ilm, he is, is, he is speaking in matters that are related to the mass. Yeah? The matters that are related to the mass. Is it clear? So, we have to be careful. Yes. Uh, 